Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to configure your Kanban board within version 1. So currently we're looking at the storyboard for this maintenance project. So we see here that the project I have selected is maintenance and this is the storyboard view that we currently have set up. Now let's walk through the steps to configure this to support your Kanban flow. So we'll go into Customize. The first thing I want to show you is how we add WIP limits at each individual status level. So we have the WIP limits option here. So I'll say for ready, we can handle three items at a time. Development 2, ready for test 2, and testing 1. So now when I save this, we have that visibility here that we have the individual WIP limits set at each status. So currently in ready we see that we already have three items and our whip limit is three. What would happen if we move another item in here? Will the system stop you from doing that? What do you expect to happen? So let's, let's walk through that really quickly. What you'll see is when I move this additional story into the state, the application doesn't stop you from doing that uh, because of the true nature of agile teams and the environment. Things can happen, something high urgency might come up so the application is not going to restrict you from doing that. What it is going to do is going to give you this visibility in the salmon color, letting you know that hey, you're over your uh, you're over your whip limit. So it's a good leading indicator to a conversation to have with your team to decide is this a one-time scenario or is this something that we decide that maybe we do need to increase our whip limit moving forward. So while not enforcing you, it does give you that visibility. So I just showed you how to add a WIP limit at each individual uh, status level. Let's configure this board a little bit more. So now if I go to Customize, you'll see we also have an option uh, for threshold days. So what this means is I can set a threshold on how long a certain backlog item can be in a specific status. So for Dev, I want to put in one. And all together, I might want to put in a total of three. You can also see that you can set your cycle start and end time. And I've set it to, it starts when anything goes into analysis and ends when anything isn't done. So now when I save this, you're getting that visibility here in orange that you're close to your threshold. You're also getting some visibility here that you have a blocking impediment. So when I hover over this, it tells me that I'm about a day in this column and it's about to exceed that one day threshold. So you're getting that visibility. So currently we talked about adding whip limits at each status level, adding thresholds so you have visibility on your board when something is close or exceeding a threshold. Last thing I want to show, or last couple of things actually, there's two more things. So since we're focused on adding the whip limits at the status level, many Kanban teams I speak with, they also have that need to add a grouping of whip limits, a grouping two statuses together. So I can customize this and maybe ready in dev, I want to call this development. And all together in development, I want there only to be four items being worked on at a time. And same thing here, testing. All together, maybe I only want two items. So now you have your grouped whip limits here. So development can handle four, testing can handle two. And you get that indication again that, oh, well, you're over your group whip limit. Because as you can clearly see, there's five items in here. So again, leading indicator to go and have those important discussions with your teams. The last thing I want to show is how you can add different swim lanes onto your Kanban board. So currently we have one swim lane. So if I go back to this customize option, here you see that we have this group by option. It allows me to choose the different attributes that I have available on my backlog items and defects. And we've created a custom attribute called class of service. So when I set this, now I have my different swim lane. So I have my expedited swim lane as well as my standard swim lane. So you're, you have your different class of service, you can see how things are progressing, uh, what's expedited, what needs to be finished right away. 
the different ways to add those swim lanes onto your board. So I just showed you how to configure your Kanban board uh, directly within version 1. Uh, we, we looked at how to add whip limits at the individual layer, grouping of whip limits, adding a threshold on how long something can stay within a specific status, or a, to or a total threshold, and adding the swim lanes onto your board. Thank you for your time.